Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 4 and some of the set photos that have been released in regards to what was actually revealed in the San Diego Comic Con trailer this week. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, I had to hold back on doing this video due to the fact that I couldn't get in contact with the original person who actually posted the Supergirl photos of her in her new suit a few days ago. So this is a re-recording and I'm going to be breaking down Hollywood North Buzz's photos. So all rights go to them for these photos that were just released today on the set of Vancouver. So we're going to be breaking it down and straight up the suit looks a lot better in this different version of the camera because I feel like the other photos that you guys would have seen online were actually really really zoomed in and they were quite grainy and this is a lot clearer and her suit looks a lot better in this different lighting. Overall let me give my thoughts on the suit first. So I thought the trailer shot was very very intriguing. I still think this is really intriguing that she's wearing the suit seems very injustice -y. I actually don't mind it if I'm honest via this Hollywood North Buzz photo with her actually fighting what looks like Sam Witwer as far as I can see or it could be just someone else but he is supposedly one of the big bads at the start of the season so potentially this is Agent Liberty I can't really tell because it's from behind but in fact she is fighting and her suit looks pretty cool in the light if I'm honest. The one thing I have to say I don't like the helmet I think everyone can agree the helmet looks weird. I know it's due to the fact that we've been told that it's kryptonite that is the cause of why she has to cover her entire body and also I can confirm this is only for one episode and this is a temporary thing they're not going to be using it for like four or five episodes or something like that so don't worry about that if you don't like it but I have to say with this detail that we can see the color I do like it I know I may be voicing an unpopular opinion but via these new photos, I kind of like it a lot better than I did in those other photos because that really didn't highlight anything to do with the suit. It looked very Power Rangers-like. This doesn't look too Power Rangers-like, even though the helmet emphasizes that Power Rangers-esque vibe that it gives off in those other photos. This is more of a streamlined look at what her suit is actually like. The other ones seem to look a bit bulky. So overall, the suit looks cool. I think, obviously, the normal Supergirl suit's much better. And obviously, this is just a new addition. It, she doesn't have a cape. That is something that you can spot. And this is just due to the fact that this is only going to be in one episode. She's going to be getting this suit from Lena. And it's going to be most likely to protect herself from Kryptonite, as far as I know, according to some sources online. And so that is basically it. So... Those photos are very nice. I really do like the Hollywood North Buzz ones that they have released and I'm excited to see what's to come. So I'm going to be doing another Supergirl video very soon going over all the spoilers for season 4 so far. So I would highly recommend you turn on notifications to not miss that video so you can get up to date with all the videos and all the updates as to season 4 of Supergirl. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Strong, it doesn't make us weak. Tongue tied to service like shark breed.